Aaron has the floor of this one all together. This is obviously the side that goes uh, down on the trailer, and so it will be flipped the other way when it is on the trailer, and he has left what appears to be thin boards on the inside. I'll flip it over and you can see what I'm talking about. So when that's all painted, or stained, I think he's actually going to stain it, it's going to look like it's just really thin slats rather than the wide plank like are in mine and then dad's just going for a different look we didn't have anything to work with so we can do whatever we want that's the nice thing about it We're going for the over-exaggerated slammed look. So we have dropped the sideboard down a little bit and then he's doing a kind of a curved bowed piece up on top here. So there'll be a piece that comes kind of down and touches down. Got a little bit of an issue with the deck lid. So we're going to have to uh, cut a groove out there. Somebody measured wrong when they made the arms. One way to skin a cat. I boo booed. I said I boo booed, and Aaron said no, nope, because now I can see my license plate when the trailer's on. True, but I still boo booed. Well, there's the finished mock up. Can't really step far enough away from the side. And then there is an aluminum piece of angle here that will get cut. Fit down here on the corners. So all four corners will have that in there. That's just weighing the amount I took off of the trailer. We're right at 13 pounds. So whoever guessed 13 pounds leaner was correct. I figured it was probably about 10 pounds, so. That definitely helped us out. The bracket made. Come out along the trailer here. And uh, get nice and cornered. I look down the side because I have to allow for the drill hole top of the board here. I don't know if I can see that very well, but anyway. So we're kind of measured to make it even. So this is nine inches. So I came in two inches from the top and the bottom. Made my mark an inch over. And we'll drill those pilot holes and uh, get it mounted up. So uh, here's a preview of one of the brackets. Obviously it's not uh, screwed down yet, but uh, there's kind of what they'll look like on the outside of the trailer. But the sides are disassembled from the floor. So we'll put the floor over here on some saw horses and uh, sand it down, get it ready for some stain. Uh, the deck lid board, the board that's towards the deck lid that we uh, notched out so the deck lid would open. It was actually uh, a good mistake by Mrs. Junebug. Anyway, uh, we'll take that board off on the saw horses just because I'm old and lazy you don't want to crawl underneath the slam trailer to unscrew the screws from the so floor. We're back in action here we got the floor sanded down I don't know how well you can see that but we're gonna stain it with some uh, 
Ipswich pine. Like it or not, she's stained. A little more orangish color, but maybe it'll lighten up a little bit. Of course, you can't ever trust those stained cans because they're about as accurate as the weatherman. Okay, so we'll start painting the bottom of the frame here. Frame. There's the trailer assembled most of the way. Sides here. Where's the front with the cutout for the deck lid on the bug? Sides assembled still. And we'll just put the hooks through the bottom, put the back on, pack the bearings on the wheel tonight, get it hooked up, get it wired, and uh, that part of the trailer's done. Then we start on the beetle as far as getting it wired and getting the uh, attachments here on the back all snugged up and, and so forth. Okay, so trailer's assembled. Slap sideboards on and back is on. I put some nice little hooks through the floor so if I wanted to tie stuff down. Obviously, I have carriage bolts to the, the floor into the frame of the trailer, holding the, the floor down. And we have the back of it here. So you can see that aspect of it and this side. Now I'm going to work on the corner boards, get those assembled, and uh, see where we go from there. Somehow, I'm always the one that gets stuck with the dirty jobs. But here we are have both bearings in the single wheel trailer hub and hopefully gonna have that back together tonight and back on the trailer so we can actually mount that up and see what it looks like. So I'm finishing that job up and I uh, have the the outer part of the rim. It's a split rim so I have the two halves off. I'm gonna go slap some paint on that real quick so it can get dry and we'll get this back together and get it on the trailer. Add a little pinstripe to that single wheel tire just on the inside. I'm no any pinstriping but I think that added just a little bit of pop. Can't really see the sun's glaring on you. There we go. Added just a little bit of a pop to it. So Aaron has the trailer pretty much all done and together. Uh, still looks a little too new though. That gray. We're gonna. I'm gonna pull my famous trick where I kind of make it look rough. So any areas that he kind of boo booed or knocked the paint off of, we just left alone because that'll help. Uh, add a little character to it. So I'm going to put that wheel on there and the assembly we got all um, greased up and everything's ready to go on it. So I'm going to put the tire back on. Got the bumper hooked back up on the car. I had to take it completely off to add uh, the bumper grommets and this fender here. You can see it in some of the other shots but it has a rip right there. Some of the other videos I've put up but put the bumper grommets on, put the bumper back, added uh, the top bumper bracket. And I think that will be um, plenty strong. It feels really good. So should be really good. The only thing is uh, we noticed that the gap on this bracket is slightly different than this bracket. So car is definitely off or I messed up could be that too never know I mess up once in a while all right I think we're ready to put that wheel on there everything's all painted up so shouldn't have too much trouble getting it on there and dropped back down and on the car just starting to kind of blend in some stain work that in and kind of make it look a little older 
not going to be a perfect job. The brackets are going to still look perfect, but in the cracks of where the brackets attach, I'm just kind of putting a little grime, building in a little grime so it looks a little less than new. Starting to kind of take on a little bit of dingy look, as opposed to, I've kind of started on this side already. You can see the two differences there up here. So it's not that I don't want it gray, it's just that I kind of am trying to make it look a little grimy. So kind of around where the bracketry is, you know, and in the corners here. Just trying to kind of make it around the screws. Put a little dirt in there. Just a little bit of those kinds of touches add a little bit to this kind of thing. It doesn't, it doesn't take much. I mean, I'm not putting a whole lot of stain on there, just a little bit. Just kind of gives it that well-loved look. I think the tailgate is pretty much spot on. I'm going to leave it alone. Continue working around. Got the tire on. I think that pinstripe looks pretty awesome on there. So I'm happy I did that. And as soon as I get this kind of patina put on there, we'll throw it on the car and see what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna call that uh, done. Unfortunately, we're shooting right into the sun. Let me get you out of the sun here. Just want it to look dingy on the outer boards. The floor is gonna leave gloss. I think that's fine. But I tried to add like where these little pull ties are, add, you know, some grease, what would be your hand kind of pulling those in and out. Tried to add some there. Around the bolts, like I said, and the the brackets. Get the focus there. Focus. There we go. Just trying to make it look dingy. I think that was pretty successful. I don't know why the camera wasn't focusing there. A lot better than uh, just the gray, flat gray. You can see I just did kind of a hint. You know, like if you came up to this and Put your hand on it and grab the hold of it just up at the top there the edge that upper lip and then up by the where the deck lid is i did quite a bit of grime up there again just trying to make it where it doesn't look brand spanking new i used whatever was in the Junko stain pile. Red oak. I thinned it just a little bit with mineral spirits. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. I do dingy well, even if I say so myself. All right, next up, we gotta wire this light up. Uh, not sure. I, think, I guess I'm going to go on the driver's side. Yeah, let's go on the driver's side. Well, I'm here ready to hook up the trailer. Got the trailer wires hanging right there. And uh, this is the mess I opened up to. And we got something wrong with the housing. I've had a test light on all of these connections. And they're good from the key. If you hit the brake light, brake light comes on. Uh, plug into the tail light, tail light comes on and turn signal works, but the housing, something is wrong with the housing. Problem solved. This car, we did run LED, red LEDs in the back of it. Those housings have a little thing inside that looks a little bit something like this. This one has the older style in it, and it has kind of two pieces, I already put it back together or I'd show you, of tabs that uh, touch the back side of the bulb and those had just kind of gotten out of alignment because of that LED bulb The little tabs are oval shaped on the bulb and so if they don't touch and line up exactly perfectly Then uh, you're not gonna get good time contact. So we are working now And finish hooking that guy up always something and you think it's gonna be an easy project and then two hours later You're you're back to where you started and where you thought you would well be. there it is in all of its glory I think it turned out pretty good. Probably could have gone a little darker on some of the uh, staining. 
So just to make it look dingy, I may go over it again and kind of make that a little bit darker. That board up front, you can kind of get a good idea of what I did on staining. Tried to not go too dark because it's harder to go back to the way it was than it is to take it a little bit darker, but it's pretty dingy looking. I'm liking that. Anybody else catch the tag? VW? <laughs> We're just running that. It's not really a 61 that we know of. And then the rim where I redlined it turned out really nice. Really happy with that. wiring I just did single wire rather than doing one of those wiring harnesses because we just have a stop and tail and then I'm gonna paint the blue wire black and then for the housings I just half heat shrunk a heat shrink and so the this end is open and then just married a male female end on each of those Doesn't look too bad, eh? Let me pop you in a stand and I'll show you the cool tail light he got. Now's the test. Will it work or not work? Might have cut that just a little too close. It does clear when the air shocks are up a little bit. So we're good. That's the only time we'll be driving it. Thanks for watching everyone, for commenting, supporting the channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell if you want to see other things we've got in the works. Dad's upholstery will be coming up in the next couple of days, I hope. So stay tuned if you want to see that, and we'll catch you on the next one.